prayers of all of us who are uh, who have run into UAAG with great faith and that are supporters of UAAG grant no matter the wind no matter every wind every any type of wind that has been busy blowing and coming with lies from the pit of hair against UAG grant assistance UAAG still stands agedeba because UAG is divine project of the Lord. It is not the project of man, but the project of the Lord, whose name is Jehovah Yahweh Elohim. And that is why UAG is now built on the rock that is higher and bigger and stronger than the plans of the wicked enemies that are out there speaking lies against the UAAG grant. Look at somebody like a betrayer, Judas, Satan the devil, who is always uh, accusing the brethren day and night. That is that which is of Satan. And those that are working for Satan, they always come up every minute of the day, every day, accusing uh, the control director of UAAG in the person of Apostle Professor Dr. Ken Wakama. All your lies, Peter, Eliezer, Uchechuku. All your lies, Peter, Eliezer, Uchechuku. And the likes of you, all of you, we end in perpetual shames. You will see that God is the one that brought out this project. And any project that comes from the Lord is divine. And God will use somebody, his vessel, to make the project work out. So Peter Eliezer, that has been your character. You have been a liar. And you have been an accuser of the brethren day and night. Satan is your father. Devil is your father. Who is accusing the brethren, the children of the Lord, day and night, every day. That has been your pattern and your, and your ways. Because sometimes last year, you came up on air and started insulting Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama, claiming that he does not pick up your voice, he does not listen to your advice. Who are you to, get, to give such an elderly man an advice? If you have advice that is useful, why not give to yourself that advice that is useful so that you can be useful to your life and to yourself and to your family? You have never achieved anything and you are nothing. And you are looking for whom you will give advice. Why not give that advice, take that advice and give it to yourself, give it to your children, give it to your wife, give it to every other person around you who, who believe, those of them that believe in your advice. Your advice is, an, is a depleted one. Your advice is a depleted one and what is in your brain is nothing. I, you, we are, you said a lot of rubbish thing against Apostle, the person of Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama last year. You we are still the same person that came up and apologized. You have started you have started again. Betrayer like you. Are you a betrayer? We are not the one that betrayed your organ, Kingsley. When all of you were in AGPGN, when Kingsley was the, the president. You claim that Kingsley does not take your advice. You are looking for people you will be giving advice. That makes you a dollar. That makes you a dollar, a useless dollar. And when Kingsley refused or repudiated your advice, you started insulting him using all sorts of useless and nonsense words against Kingsley. Now, after Kingsley, you come up again and joined Reverend Nguarachuku. And Reverend Nguarachuku was following you with good heart. And you were busy planning your evil because you are of the devil, you are of the Satan. When a time came up, you started claiming, you came on air and told us that the Reverend Wajuku does not listen to your advice. Look at you, Mr. Advice, Mr. Advisor, Mr. Advisor, Eliezer, Peter, Uchechuku. Look at your advice, Mr. Advisor. It's all right. When Reverend Wajuku refused to uh, take your advice, you started insulting that man, an elderly man. You started insulting him. 
we are not the same person that came on air and gave him all sorts of names now it is the turn of apostle professor uh karen welcome for you to come up and start writing nonsense nonsense junks well i will not say much for now but what i know that this uaag project is a divine project from god from jehovah yahweh elohim from jehovah yahweh elohim and it god must use his vessel a holy vessel an honorable vessel a vessel unto honor to his holy name to deliver this uh, project to nigerians to subscribers of uaag you are working for your masters we know your masters and all of you have failed in your camp you people claim to have your uh, palliative the government has given you people's palliative your source for palliative why not deliver your own palliative there that makes you a useless man for saying such and for insulting apostle dr ken wakama do you know that apostle dr ken wakama is an oh is is an elderly man since you don't have respect for for elderly people you insulted reverend wajuku kingsley insulted is an elderly person over you you insulted kingsley mr kingsley the former president of adpgn then you left adpgn that time you insulted the reverend reverend wajuku an elderly man you insulted him you this is, now you came up again to insult and start heaping insult to anti to the most elderly person amongst these these people called apostle professor Kermakama. how can you grow to to their age you can't because you don't have respect for the elderly people it's all right let us see where you will end god has started his judgment on you remember what happened to miriam and aaron when they conspired and started gossiping against the, the lost vessel called Moses. Two of them did not enter. Two of them died there. God was angry with them and God poured his wrath upon them. Though Moses was the last one to their parents, Jacob, uh, Jacob and Amram. But because Moses was chosen by God to deliver the divine project of liberty, deliverance of the people of Israel out of the hands of the Egyptians or Pharaoh any person who rises up to speak against this divine project of god and god using his servant apostle apostle dr kemakama to deliver this divine project and you rise up to speak against it it will end as miriam and aaron ended and such persons will end as miriam and aaron ended so men and brethren the subscribers of uaag Disregard Mr. Peter Eliezer, Eliezer's, uh, Eliezer Chuchuku's uh, write up yesterday. It is nonsense write up. He will regret it. Wait after this disbursement. God will start, God, in fact, God has already started dealing with all of you there. The write up which Ustaz Dawood wrote, demanding that the apostle dr ken wakama should come up on air and tend the apology which type of a, which kind of apology are you out of your senses you that have been busy fighting your father and and the man you are fighting is the lost vessel that you should not put the apostle can you tell your imam not to answer imam can you tell your afa not to answer afa that makes you useless person look at you very small rat like you who starts that would you are a rat to have said such thing to the man of god the the golden vessel of the lord the chosen vessel of the lord the anointed uh, vessel of the lord you are asking him not to answer the the, the to, to, not to bear the name of his office whom god put him into i mean which god put him into as an apostle do you know the name of apostle who starts that would do you know the name of apostle do you think that it's just a mere name like that or a title like that? No. Apostle means in Greek word apostello. And apostello means special messenger. Jesus came as an apostle, as an apostello. Special messenger with special message. 
that is what Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama is. So you don't dare. You don't ever open that your useless mouth to say to tell Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama to drop that apostle and answer Mr. Ken. Who are you? Can you tell your father? Your father is a small boy to where Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama is. Can you insult your father to that? Can you tell your imam not to answer imam? Can you tell your Afa not to answer Afa? You are a useless idiot. So, men and brethren in the grand community, do not mind all their nonsense talks. All of them, they are in AGPGN. They are useless, confused set of people. So, let all the UAG subscribers remain calm and focused. We have already gotten it. We shall celebrate very soon now. Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama is the Lord's chosen our servant, the apostle of our time, the special messenger of our time, sent by God, whose name is Jehovah Yahweh. We are getting the, the, the project. It will reach us. Thank you and remember blessed. I am your brother, comrade C M O A K A Otogu Lion. Goodbye for now. Today is June. 11 2024 see you at the celebration time that celebration is now nothing will happen to apostle dr kemakama god is always within goodbye